So when you're looking at like this class of Bitcoin miners in all the various things that they're working on, all the various business lines, how do you as an analyst, an independent analyst, come to grapple with them? Like what are some metrics that you've come to use for someone who's doing HPC, but is also mining Bitcoin? One way you can try to do it is you say, you know, how much is a megawatt worth if you hash on it? If you put, if you buy ASICs, you mine Bitcoin on it and like every two or three years you buy the newer ASICs to refresh them and, and whatever. You can crunch the numbers on that and get some sort of like rough idea. And then you have a megawatt if you do HPC co-location. Primary data to go, we have to go off of right now is the core scientific deal. And I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I think it's like 18 cents a kilowatt hour they're making in revenue or something, or that could Sheesh. be that could be the net profit yeah. overall. And to put that in context, I think like an S21 running right now is like 12 cents a kilowatt hour, okay. maybe something like that. And, and declining all the and, time declining. Yeah, I think we're headed towards like a four or 5% difficulty adjustment. But you know, Bitcoin could double and that that number will double It'll go to 20 cents. Yeah. But in three years from now, what's that number going to be?